Hello everyone, this is a video on how to factory reset this TP-Link Archer C6 router. Uh, so if you've forgotten the password for it or you can't get it, uh, you don't know what IP address it's on, you've changed the setting that's mucked something up, um, this is how you'll factory reset it and lose all of the settings and go back to uh, how it was when you originally bought it. Um, on the In my example here, on the left side, I've got a custom IP address on the router of 10.77.88.1. Uh, and I don't know the password to the router. On the right hand side, I have the default IP address being pinged of 192.168.0.1. So when we've done this successfully, uh, you shouldn't see a ping on this side, or it should say destination host unreachable or net unreachable. And on the right side, it should say ping reply from because the router has gone back to factory settings. So on the back of the router, to the right of all the yellow LAN ports, and below the WPS button is a recessed reset button. Uh, I'm going to use a paper clip to press that. To factory reset the router, we need to hold down the reset button for about five seconds. I'll let you know when I'm going to press it, and then I'll let you know when I'm going to let go of it. So I'm going to press it now, and I'm going to let go now. The power light should start blinking, and the router will reboot. This process can take quite some time, so uh, stay watching and you'll see what the lights do and uh, what the ping does and when it eventually starts responding. Eventually the two wireless lights will come on, there we go, and probably about 30 seconds later, or just under 30 seconds later, if you're plugged in with a network cable like I am, the network light will come on as well. So at the moment the computer can't connect to anything, the ping on the custom IP address is not responding, and also over here, whoop, the ping on the default IP address was not responding either. The network light has now come on, and the computer is, res or the, sorry, the router is responding over here. I'll get this aerial out of the way. On the uh, router's default IP address now, rather than the custom one that I'd set over there. So hopefully this video on how to factory reset this Archer C6 is helpful. If it has been helpful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.